Daddy belly is alive. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yaddy belly is alive. Yaddy belly TV live. What we are doing? Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yaddy belly is cooking. Cooking in the morning. We're cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yaddy belly is cooking. Yaddy belly TV with cooking, cooking, cooking. Eating, eating, eating. After we done cooking, eating in the breakfast and eating, eating. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's Ben Johnson. I'm just saying, if you know the story behind Ben Johnson, still. What happened was there was a man and he named Johnson and then in Ben. You understand? And up time Ben in stamp back. So what can we do with Thursdays? If there was a Thursday man when it happened. Whatever. 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 Well hi guys. I'm going ahead and sharing. You guys should do the same. On your Facebook pages or whatever social media platform you have, we would love if you could just share the video. Oh, right? Because guess what? Guess why? Guess why I'm going to share it? Because <laughs> you love we. All right. Yeah, because we're doing something a little bit different, and that's what we're trying to do. Get creative in the kitchen. Sawfish is not usually paired with what we're pairing it with this morning. And so, just so we get the word out that there are different ways to do things. Creative way to do things. Share the video. Which right. is what I just did. Thank you so much. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Diamond Cougar One. Good morning to you. Is that Pink Diamond under a new name? Let me know. Good morning, Tatlin Morris. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful morning. And we are here in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Just trying to um, fix up everything. Awesome. Bibs, look up, look up on the camera. Look up on the camera. Oh, you look so good. You look so beautiful this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please compliment her? Compliment, girl, on your kids. You're number one girl on my list. And every time I think of you, I wait. Who, who, who? Oh. Totally. Don't shoot purple. Oh, so all tea names are purple, apparently. Heart of worship, good morning. Good morning to you, Heart of Worship. Good morning. I can't say that first name. Tatlin, good morning to you. We um, are Diamond Cougar, number one. It's a beautiful day in South... What was it? Central Florida. Central Florida. Nice and sunny. If you are in the area where the hurricane passed, hope you were not tropical affected. Eh? It's, a, it's downgraded to a tropical storm. Thank you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That is good. Go ahead and just hit the thumbs up button because we're about to get this thing started. And yeah, it doesn't always look good up. Good up. Good up. Oh, please. Oh, please. Out of worship. Please. <laughs> Don't even try that. Sometimes she's tore up from the floor up. Everybody. No, not me. I'm always cute. Really? Yeah, even when my scrubs. Oh, we'll trick you. <laughs> Once again, good morning to each and every one out there in Radio Van. Good morning to all the folks in Radio Van. All right, can can you can you um allow me to show the people my the ingredients, please, ma'am? Or are you gonna show them? We eat our either, but we can't just stand around looking cute. 
<laughs> wow so guys let us show you what we are making today now everybody knows saltfish cook up with everything but how many of us have ever cooked up saltfish with broccoli 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 we want broccoli broccoli we want broccoli broccoli we want broccoli hey hey so oh. Why would I make wow. it my breakfast? But guys, guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I tell you? Somebody need to stop her. Nisi, can you please talk to her? Every single time she me feel like say she planned to do this thing that she want me to ask a bit. Me, me, you know, always a frightened people. Jeez, I'm peace. Look how me, me frighten up. My girl, but you never have a frighten if, if you said um, you could have cooked it up with breadfruit. Oh, oh. oh, Lord, help me. I see him say my mother be here. But, oh, a family them. That's where it come from. That's exactly where it come from. We are victims of our family history. You understand? Oh, my God. I say, wah, wah, wah. Who could have eaten? Who could have cooked it with breadfruit? <laughs> Jeez, whatever you you are dramatic. She knows the people know. <laughs> so, guys, today we are making um saltfish, Jamaican saltfish, uh saltfish with broccoli. And it's a simple process, so just do what we have to do and cook it up. Alright? And then the wife is gonna show you, go ahead, bit, is gonna show you what she's making with this delicious thing here. Yes. Hold the camera, may I start work. I work, may I start my girl, I work. I'm working, okay? All right, we're making some fried dumpling. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, they came up with a idea mm -hmm, that we could put, bam, seaweed in our fried dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Seaweed? Do you even eat seaweed, guys? I don't think most Jamaicans eat seaweed, do they? That's why we do these things because we need to come out of the proverbial box. Let me show you guys what the seaweed look like in the in the stage or the form in which we're gonna be using it in our dumpling. These are um a seaweed snack, and so they're like paper thin pieces of compacted seaweed. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just break it up. And seaweed has a <laughs> a, a, a kind of oceany. Yeah, it got salty. Oh, let me cut it up. Yeah, it have a little salty, oceany, fishy vibe to it, right? Mm hmm So this might give us fritters vibes. I don't know. And but seaweed is is super duper. It's a super food, guys. Yeah, it's a. Super you understand? Food. Having a whole heap of vitamin and mineral and riboflavin mm -hmm. and all those you know powerful things mm -hmm. you know so you want to add stuff like that to your diet because our diet is so poor nowadays with all of these overly processed meat um, food stuff food items that we are being introduced to on the market you know so you want to as much as possible build up your, your thing you know out of worship says so she never had it and she don't interested in it because she no likes she, out of worship. She oh. never had seaweed. Right. Mm. And seaweed is, is relatively the same, almost the same as sea moss. It's just a different version of the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if you have had sea moss gel, you you know you're 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 pretty close to having seaweed. In 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 the in China, seaweed is called nori or Japan, seaweed is called nori. And it is utilized a lot. Trust me, guys. A lot of people just snack on this. I don't know. It's not. I don't know if it's filling because it's so thin. But it it gives it tricks the taste bud into feeling that you're you know satisfied after eating it. And we just wanted to make the dumpling a little bit better. You know, it's good. I've had it when I eat California roll sushi. Awesome, awesome. And that is what it is wrapped in. If you like sushi, and you see that dark green wrapping on the sushi, is usually seaweed. Mm -hmm. So um, I think out of worship, very much so I've added. I mean, know you eat sushi already, girl. But look at the diamond, diamond cougar. We are making it into 
our Jamaican food, yeah? We also incorporate some stuff. And this is what this channel is about, guys. So we might not do things generally like what everybody else does. We try to make our dishes a uh, little bit different, you know? You can put it, just done that, sir. Just done that, you are all oh, them eat seaweed then. <laughs> wow. So why you think that black thing was when you were up your sushi girl? She just think of sushi paper. Why? <laughs> seaweed good for you. It is very good for the, the body, the mind and the system. And it automatically give you good vibes. You understand? So, I'm going to tell you what, what some of the benefits of seaweed. Give me, when I don't cut up my bracket, I'm going to tell you what are some of the benefits of seaweed. All right? Health benefits, that is. So, no, no, next time I'm going to see it from the store. And this is one of the things that we're trying to do as well, guys. We're trying to, we're trying to get our, our Caribbean people, especially, to explore new things. Mm -hmm. Because we have been, we are limited, we limit ourselves by, by virtue of what we add to what, what we eat. You know, Caribbean, especially Jamaican people, we don't eat everything. When we go into the store and we see certain things, and no, son, no, eat that. You know how much time we stand up in a supermarket and look for the food and not take it up? Mm -hmm. We not eat it. We read the box, we do everything, but we're not eating that. We're not eating it. Nobody can have false way. So, Heart of Worship, did you yet try the sweet potato fried dumpling? You have to try it. If you have not tried it, you got to try it. Girl. Yes, you have to try it. It was the bomb. Everybody will try it a little bit. All right, so we're just going to fold that in so that it is distributed in the dough once it is... She said no, mm -hmm. she don't try it. She must try it, man. Try the things. She don't try the things, then, B. Right. After she did not try the things. I'm hurt. So, of course, you know, you start. This is three cups of flour, and I'm going to be adding my baking powder, which is important. I'm going to be putting one tablespoon of the baking powder. I like that dumpling tutorial that you're doing there, girl. Plus a little tip more. I always put a little tip more for good measure. And you just, again, stir it in. Of course, salt. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of salt. Diamond Cougar says, same here. My roots is Jamaican, but I cook all cultural foods from Chinese, etc okay so you're, you're opening up your palate to accepting other dishes and other nationalities and that's good do you guys use sugar in your dumplings if you haven't yet you're awesome because sugar add that little umami nice vibe you know between salty sweetie yeah three tablespoons of sugar three tablespoons of sugar and something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry guys, I sing for everything if you never know. Mm -hmm. If it's the first time you're listening to Yada Belly TV, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys. And we are up to 90,000 subscribers and we are hoping to get to 100,000 subscribers pretty soon. We just need another 10,000. And trust me guys, if you will do your part in helping us, we will achieve that goal. We need people to know that there is a crazy little Jamaican couple and family that is doing some mad things on the internet. My girl, stop not the something when I thought the, the things then now. Alright, so when you're making dumpling, make sure you're hand clean because you have to go in and pretty much disintegrate the butter. Needs to say add sugar. Nice. So this process also helps to introduce a little bit of air into the, the dough, which will make it fluffy. I don't want to air it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I love it. See that? 
So by the time I finish, the, the, the butter is evenly distributed and everything is good to go. Awesome. And then from here on, you're just going to add your water and just knead it. Awesome. Wait me this, you should add sugar and a little butter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm kneading, I use milk, almond milk. But ain't nobody got none this morning. So we use it water. <laughs> and part of what we also try to do, guys, is to make sure we utilize the stuff that we do have in the house. Because if we were to if we were to run out every every morning, every Thursday and buy, you know, ingredients. I'm trust sure me. Us not going out to buy anything this week, right? Right. Uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Every buying things sometimes. Yeah. Ridiculous. And I spend what we don't have. You understand? Excuse me? I feel it to my heart. I feel it. You feel it, Phantom? You, you Phantom? <laughs> Phantom. Do you feel it? Are you feeling the feelings, baby? Lala, good morning to you, Lala. And let me just turn this camera around so you guys can see what I am doing since somebody has left you high and dry. You need it? You want it? Yes. Where want it for? You need it? I was going to use it. Oh. Ha, there's no more. Ha, ha. So, guys, I'm just simply cutting up my ingredients here. And... I don't know how to cut the carrots for this particular dish. I, I don't want them to be julienne. So I'm just going to cut them on the bias and just leave it like that. And I always add carrots and them colors to my dish, even though it is not the main thing. I just add them because I like them. I like when the dish is pretty. You know, the food look good and nice and so. So that's why I'm adding these. But I don't know if I need two carrot babes. No. No? I don't need two carrots. She said I don't need the two carrots then. So. I'm going to say it's carrot and sawfish. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Tell Lashan she was making um, seaweed fried dumpling. Lashan, she said she was making seaweed fried dumpling. Good morning, Rachel Christopher. Thank you for joining us this morning. We do hope that you can subscribe to our channel. Today we're making Jamaican food, but with a difference. So we're making saltfish, which is salted cod. And we are pairing that with broccoli, which is unusual. You know, we do eat broccoli and we do eat saltfish, but we never generally pair them together. We normally pair saltfish with ackee or cabbage, or just cook it down with tomatoes like bacalao, the, in the Spanish version of it. And so this morning it's unique, it's different. But the wife is saying, I cannot eat two, um, use two carrots, so I'm just utilizing the best way possible. And guys, you can find saltfish in Walmart. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. I never knew that, but if you guys want to try the saltfish, if you don't normally cook it, you can find it in Walmart. And Walmart, I go on bad now, we're taking over people things, you know. Walmart won't sell everything. 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 Walmart I put saltfish on them shelf. Um, so if you want saltfish, saltfish they are Walmart. As a disclaimer, do we have to make sure you boil up the saltfish at least two times to get all the extra saltiness? Mm -hmm. It's not something that you can just cook without boiling it first. Right. So. Unless you have low blood pressure, no high blood pressure, yes. <laughs> And I think that is even more so dangerous too. So, all right, I'm gonna cut up my onion. I, my, my ingredients is generally cut, um, cleaned up and stuff. And so, babes, which, which pot may I use? 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 Oh wow. <laughs> Guys, she don't even turn the black of her eye. Look for more after me I try. <laughs> yes, Lala, she said seaweed fried dumpling. <laughs> Lala is like, did she say seaweed fried dumpling? 
So this is one of the doors. You can see the pieces of the seaweed in the door right there. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, now you just make it how you normally make your regular dumpling. Make it in a ball and then fry it. Of course, I'm going to make this as two because this is too huge. Yeah. Lala, different. We are different over here. Good morning, El Elton Austin. Good morning to you. That's uh, Belize, right? Belize, good morning to you, sir. Oh, guys, check out this. This um, was, um, I, I remember sp speaking to, to this gentleman a couple months ago, and he is uh, an American who does um, barbecue, slow and, roast, slow and low and slow barbecue. And he spoke to me about you know, jerk and, and the whole idea that he watched a couple of my videos and stuff. And then this is his formulation. So he sent me these to, to test them out based on our conversation. And so I'll be doing some jerk in a few. But this is Jack's blend, rubs and seasonings. And uh, yeah, Jamaican jerk. Yeah. So check that out when you not have time. I think it's online at jacksblend.com. All right. So all my ingredients are already now. To the, to, to, for the most part, my carrots, my saltfish, my broccoli, my scallion, my garlic, and I have some tomatoes there. And so we're gonna get the baller rolling. And of course, you know, we have to have we, we um fast food ketchup or we steal or teeth from the fast food restaurant. Yeah. And a teeth we teeth it. So what happens is, whenever we go to the restaurant and them give we ketchup and these things we carry to them because man shall not live by ketchup alone. Good morning, Enram. All right. Babes, you have, you have to do some sample over there, sir? Mm -hmm. Touch your teeth. I'm waiting on the oil to be properly. Yeah, but it not have to be, you have to make the dump because you can go and steam. No, I'm going to soak up the oil. No, soak it up. Your wow. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Pay attention to your Stay business. Clearly. Wow, guys, you see how she treat me? She treat me bad enough. My girl says stay in your lane and low out the dumpling argument. Can I borrow some of your oil? All right, give me coconut oil from over the top of it. I feel so hurt that somebody has been treating me so bad. So guys, this is our coconut oil that we're using, which is Dr. Branner coconut oil, and it's um, regenerative or organic coconut oil and we got this from Publix and guess what they had it on special so don't sleep on Publix special table mm -hmm. um yeah you can get some good stuff on the, the table over there don't sleep on it you understand when you're going Publix ask them for them special table it's what, to the catcher list, yeah and what happens is on that table you will find very good very very good products um on special now the special might not necessarily be cheap, but it's special. Right, babe? Well, this is my cheap. Yeah, two for $13. That was a steal. And this is, again, Dr. Brunner's. And look at the amount. And normally we pay $6 or 5 something for uh, not even half of that. Right. That's a huge. Right. I'm going to go back over there today. And it showed Dr. Um, lady, I plant one coconut tree on the side. You know, said real when you see the lady, I plant the coconut tree. I joke, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you know, say I good some because somebody up on the back of plant a coconut tree. I'm telling you, it's real. <laughs> uh, so. I need a good spoon in my life. I can't find a spoon. Pauline Grant, good morning. I'm in Myrtle Beach and need to hear stuff before going back to Jamaica. Okay, Pauline Grant, um, let me text, let me send you the website that you can order immediately and it will be shipped to you in probably um, two days, right, see? It will be shipped to you today. It, it, it will be shipped today and it would will, will reach you in maybe about two days. Mm -hmm. Um. So you can go and order immediately on this website. The, it, the, the, the link is in the, this, in, the, in the chat box right there. So that ketchup is not allowed. Publix have BOGO. Um, in ramp say the ketchup not allowed. 
Alright, we're gonna go back to this. So Pauline Grant, click on that link right away that is just posted in the chat and you will get your shipment ASAP. Alright? In the next couple of days, we ship it to the Myrtle Beach address and you can pick it up from there. Alright? Right. So do it today, do it ASAP. And anybody else who need our hair care products, natural um um what you call it jamaican black castor oil and um the 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 moisturizing oil blend and uh, the mascara all those things and if you want the soaps anything like that you want it is on our website at etsy.com okay so go ahead make our day <laughs> <laughs> So the wifey is testing the dumpling and now I'm never carrying it over to the dumpling testing site. I'm not carrying it over to the dumpling testing site right now. And we have to be silent while the dumpling being tested. So here you have three dumplings being tested right now. <laughs> Give me a fork. Hmm? Let me get a fork. Not on camera, my girl. That is for later. Okay, you're coming in juice in the floor. Extra this morning. So. Me, you see a year, right? me on camera. I'm always telling you guys, you need to make sure that your pot have a decent amount of oil when you're frying stuff like dumpling so that it can deep fry <laughs> and not soak up the oil. This is the color you want to go for, not dark, dark. Pauline says she don't have card, only cash. <laughs> oh, that don't work now, Pauline. Pauline, we really can't help you, you know. Oh, we have to work with the cash thing, you know. That's what I'm going to tell you, you know, Pauline. The person that... Well, no, no, no. You get somebody, nobody, none of your friends them can't add that for you. And you give them the cash and them and them, you understand? Trust me, Pauline, because that is almost virtually impossible. You know? But that look good. I'm not telling no lie. Thank you, Elton. Thank you so much, Elton. Elton says the same thing that we just said. What? Ask a friend who has the card. To facilitate you and then you give them the cash so that we can get it to you ASAP. Mm -hmm. Alrighty then, so let's get into the meat of the matter. We're going to try to simultaneously entertain you guys with our deliciousness. Mm. You hear the big words there? Eh? So I like the fact that I'm seeing the little Spots of, of, of seaweed. Yes, make, the, make dumpling. the dumpling look good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, may I add my onion now to my coconut oil? I think I need to use more onion. I like onions, onion in my, in my dish. The only problem is if you're making this dumpling, make sure your guests know that it is a seaweed dumpling so that they don't think it's flies in the dumpling. Or if they have allergies. Or insects. People are allergic to seaweed? Yeah, man, people are allergic to seaweed. Some people. Mm. Okay. You know, it got ready, people. You have to inform people nowadays, because nowadays people is way more tender than before when we was younger. Sorry, babe. You understand? When we were younger, oh, babes, you can't pass the wind in there for me. Yeah, how come I'm younger whenever you say about anybody being allergic to anything? I don't know where the time may be. Near the time. If it's not near, then it would just be because of you. Fine, fine, fine. Oh. Mm. Was gonna, was gonna he head to Myrtle Beach today, but the weather not working okay, with so. me. Elton. Hey, Elton. We were in Myrtle Beach the other day, and to be honest with you, me not know. Me not know if me like Myrtle Beach. I like it. Me like me like Florida more. I like Myrtle Beach. 
I like Jensen Beach more. I don't know. So we're adding in some, we're adding in some thyme. Sorry. We're adding in some thyme to our pot. And I'm just allowing the onions to go translucent. You know, the stove is on a low. I'm gonna put it up to a mid, just to get my onions start to vibe with the thyme. All right. Oh, oh, Elton said, um, he commented on the video when we had come up that side. Yes, you did, now that I remember. And that was a quick drive through. We, we only spent um, a couple nights there because it was for a booking that I had. So we didn't really get to do much exploration. Um, but overall, it's an older town. And, you know, infrastructure wise, it's mainly on the strip that you find most of the, the more, you know, updated things. And that's, a, that's my opinion, of course, I stand to be corrected. All right, now I'm adding in my saltfish, and as you can see, I've not broken them down because I normally do that while it's cooking. And this is the boneless cod um, or pollock can be used, but um, you want to add your saltfish. And, and, the, and coconut oil is the recommended oil to do this dish because it really adds a beautiful flavor to the overall dish. All right, you can smell it in the food and everything. Awesome, it smells good, Dumbo. Very good. Muy bueno. All right, that's for it on it. Uh huh. All right, so you just allow your saltfish to do its thing. I'm gonna add my carrots because the carrots do take a little bit of time to get softened. Oh, wait, look, guys. So, guys, this is the dumpling. Ouch, 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 ouch. This is the fried dumpling, and we're gonna sample it in a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna see it here. Mmm! Yeah. Hold on, the man. Dumpling at your school, you know, be. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not gonna put them on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good to go. Right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Guys, the dumpling tastes good. Mmm. I'm so perfect. Yeah, add um, a couple a couple squeeze of this ketchup. I'm not really a ketchup fan. What you know, I spray the ketchup on my clothes. That's why I'm not like an idiot ketchup right now. <laughs> That's why I use teeth in ketchup. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, don't use teeth in ketchup because the whole of my clothes have ketchup now. This is what happens when you use teeth in ketchup. You get damaged. <laughs> mm. And the ketchup is just to facilitate a little gravy or sauce that you want to build. If you notice, what I'm really trying to do is to get this onion to cook down mm -hmm. and drop in the sausage itself. 
And then the sausage, I'll play with the carrots. Mm -hmm. Yes, my friend. What then? The food tastes nice. Guys, she happy with her dumpling, you see? <laughs> That's why me here, the yes, my friend, and all of that, you know, she's happy with the dumpling. Guys, yeah, try the dumpling. Three cups of flour. One tablespoon of baking powder, plus a little more for good measure. One teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of butter. And three tablespoons of sugar. And four slices of cheese. <laughs> and good to go. You know what happened time and cougar? I would love to try the fried dumpling in the air fryer. However, we don't have a air fryer. So we're gonna work on that. Alright, accepting donations. Thank you. <laughs> but we are work on it. We are work on it. She said she, we must try the, the dumpling in the air fryer. Because she'll try to avoid fried foods. Okay. So I just put in my, my um me just put in my tomato. And that's a good idea. I mean it's a great idea. <laughs> Very good idea. Let's try it. Ear fry. Ear fry fry dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. Ear fried fried dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. Oh, ear fried dumpling. Yeah, why well, I would have to repeat it. Ear fried the dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. That's what you just said. Ear fried the dumpling. No, I don't say this. I say ear fried dumpling. Ear fried dumpling. Ear fried. F R I E. That's what I said I'm going to do. Ear fried the dumpling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> ear fried fried dumpling. <laughs> How this look guys? Alright look boo. It look good. You gonna try my recipe next week? Which one that? That I told you. Give me some, some seasoning please darling. I can't touch nothing. Can't touch this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't touch it. Mm -mm. I can't touch nothing because I'm making my head though. You see the pieces of the um the seaweed guys? Yeah. <clears throat> try with approve of this this recipe this morning mm -hmm. I tried the air fryer for fried dumpling but it was tough mm. you have to go to the family that's a, a, a ingredient you probably have to go put more baking powder when you're doing the air fryer this time why is this so high so hot all right so I'm gonna run some garlic powder and I like garlic guys, please bear with me. If you don't like garlic, you don't have to use that much. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper flakes. And this can be hot guys, so be careful. And I'm also gonna add some Old Bay. Not too much of the Old Bay because it already has salt. And for this dish, I'm gonna also drop a little bit of sugar to get some umami vibe going. Just a little bit of sugar. And the black pepper. May I come with the black pepper, my girl? Um, you know, Moan? Some vinegar. You like? Yeah. I also have this from um, um, a store that I've got in, in um, South Carolina and it's pickle, it's pickled garlic and I'm using some of the pickled garlic liquid in that because they carry a whole heap of flavor and I'm also adding some vinegar. A little bit of vinegar. And then I'm adding in some water. And that's gonna be my little gravy. You have to add your little gravy. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the dumpling I have a little soak in. Look at that guys. Then they turn off my stove. Turn off my stove. Why would you turn off the stove, you ask? Because around here, we like our broccoli to be crunchy. We want it to look alive. We don't want the broccoli to not be alive. We want it to be alive and sticky. And I'm adding my broccoli now. And the residual heat will do all the rest. You know what would be nice in that? What? Yes. Butter bean. Shrimps. Shrimps? Yeah, yeah, pressure my thing, my girl. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Breakfast, eh? You have never thought of this using this for breakfast. But look at that. How this look? It look good. It feel good. It's a good as. I'm going to sprinkle in my, my skeleton now. Watch it. Yeah. Ray, something turn up. Ray, hmm? and for the final, final analysis, may I add a little butter here and there. And this is um, plant based butter, so it's a little bit more healthier than the regular cow butter. <laughs> All right, see there? This is you know, omega-3 butter, smart balance butter. And the butter does go for shine up your pot and make your pot look interesting. Yeah. How that look, guys? Good. Mm -hmm. same if you bake it and it hard. And we just cover it and make the residual heat do what it have to do with my broccoli. And then we are over here now. Looking at these seaweed. awesome dumpling. Mm -hmm. Seaweed fried dumpling. I tell you. Mm. Hold on, I did have one little piece of dumpling somewhere. Wait there, wait there. My girl, really and truly? Mm -hmm. Why you that why you that eat my dumpling sample? Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Um yeah, I have the other side, so I'm putting my phone. Before I turn it. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Seaweed fried dumpling. Mm -mm. It look good. Very good. Have you ever had dumplings with seaweed? Have you ever tried it? Have you ever thought about it? Well, yeah, the belly TV is here for you. Try it now and see what happens. Turn it, turn it, baby, turn it. You ready? It's not really ready. But... It's not really ready, but it still look good. It's really ready, but it still look good. Still look good. Still look good. <laughs> look up the seaweed benefits. I'm going to turn up the door. One at a time. So guys, this is the seaweed dumpling. Yeah, if you're just joining us, we are make, don't use too high a temperature. Lower temperature, let it go longer like you're baking and not frying. Elton says. Yes. Elton, That's she is I'm the doing. dumpling queen. I tell you, Elton. Mm -hmm. She is the dumpling queen. Good morning. Where can I buy that butter? Good morning, Barrington Christian. Long time when I see you. 
This butter should be available on almost every store shelf in America and Canada. It's smart balance and it is, it is a good butter and it, they have it in different, um, with different ingredients as the main one. Where the other one is in the, in the fridge? We have another um, olive, oil. olive oil. And so let's get into the, the seaweed benefits. Or did I just wait in here, man? Delete my video that was that what I was doing. Now why would you do that? Hmm? Good morning guys. Who did I miss? Costco might have it, Barrington. Costco might very well have it. Okay. So seaweed is an increasingly popular ingredient in cuisine all over the world. It is the best dietary source of iodine, which helps support your thyroid glands. It also contains other vitamin and minerals such as vitamin K, vitamin B, zinc, and iron, along with antioxidant that helps your cell from damage. So your cell can get damage. <laughs> you understand with the seaweed. All right. Seaweed strength near here. It promotes high your eye. I, I, your I. eye health. It prevents colon cancer and leukemia. Protect against influenza B, what influenza B virus. Mm -hmm. Aids in healthy digestion. Improve heart health. Improve dental health. Improve formation of blood clots. Prevents formation of blood clot. Lower risk of thyroid enlargement and lowers risk of mental retardation. So if you don't want to get handicapped, use your seaweed. <laughs> Diamond Cougar says it in the, the butter is in um, Walmart for sure. Well, do my promotion for me, please. I'm kidding, man. My head that hurt me. Okay. My head that hurt me. My head that hurt me. All right, guys, so it is now. But we need to turn the dumpling. It is now time to turn. You see how nice when you slow you you are right, you know, um Elton. When you slow fry the dumplings, it just make them nice and fluffy, number one. Turn. Turn them. Mm-hmm. And it cook through. Half half of it. Yeah, because the inside like steam. Yeah. That's why you have to make sure you have oil in the pot too. Oops, there it is. She's um them dumplings look good, my girl. Them dumplings are very intelligent. Well, if we go copyright the recipe. And yes, start. don't steal my recipe. If you redo this dumpling, guys, can you please tag, tag us. us so that people know say Yada Belly TV is innovative and um and cute. <laughs> but it may not know the cute come in, <laughs> but no the cute come in. We but... also add to it. We can't just innovative sauce or so. We have a cute too. She's um look the man. Nice. The colour is perfect. It's a little bit um, different on ham, but the color is, this is how I like the color to be, not too dark. And if it get dark too quick, it sometimes means that the inside is not so, so it's doughy and not nice to eat. Official Jamia, good morning, girl. You are, your product is on the way. Your product is on, on the way. way. So, yeah. Could you go? I'm coming, babe. I cover my dumplings when I'm frying it. I also use milk, cows or coconut milk instead of water when making it. Okay, that's a nice tip too. Oh, we do cover the dumplings sometimes. Sometimes I will cover it, but that little after splash that you get sometimes, when I really like it. Like when the water forms underneath the, the lid and then it starts make the oil go on bad. <laughs> yeah. That is what, yay! Mm -hmm. So, Jamie, you're just joining. We're making some salt fish and, mm hmm, guess, salt fish and broccoli. And this is our seaweed fried dumplings, of course. So, the thing set. the dumplings are adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Enram. And as I say, uh, and, and as Elton rightfully says, when you slow fry it in oil, make sure say it is in oil. Because if it's, there's no oil in the pot, then you're not going to get the results that you want. Oil up and run. 
right yeah pretty dumpling <laughs> thanks diamond koga looks yummy yeah and you can see the little dots of the seaweed in the dumpling i will only have a couple more to fry over here mm -hmm. i wonder which one person is gonna get some breakfast from us this morning we always try to share our breakfast on a thursday you did open this yeah i showed it Jeez, um, look at the broccoli bright and pretty. No, oh, man. Bright. Trust me, I'm going to take it off of the fire because I'm going to No, I want to cook more. All right, guys. So she's forcing me to come over here to promote. And this is what we do. You know, um, this is part of... If you support us in this venture, you're supporting our channel. And also, you're helping us to be budget-friendly with our... Dis in, in our... Dis um, what do you call it? Disposition. You know so that's why we're doing this guys so please bear with us all right so we want to introduce you to our product line which is one true natural and uh, we have we have been able by god's help to procure um a whole different a whole host of products um and these are all uh organic products one to the special shape somebody's asking one to the special shape <laughs> not to the nram <laughs> So, first product is our Shine of Mine. And Shine of Mine is a nourishing oil blend, guys, that you can use for your hair. Um, especially nowadays when people are using a whole lot of, you know, um, wigs and lace front and them something there. Sometimes your scalp, sometimes your hair gets, it's struggling. Mm -hmm. You understand? Get neglected. This is a good product because you can just apply it to the scalp and help with moisturizing you can also add it to your shampoo for co-wash or whatever it one name at oil treatment you hear it from the horse's mouth not that your ass but <laughs> so this is a very good product guys natural organic and it's a whole bunch of um um olive um different types of oils that are used to formulate this product it's called shine of mine and you can get this product on etsy the, the information is in the chat box all right and then we also have uh jamaican black castor oil mascara that is for your eyelash and your eyebrow lash and brow lash and brow all right and if you want to promote growth on on your hair on your eyebrow and your eyelash this product is formulated for that purpose it has the wand inside of it and everything and i mean sometimes we ladies been using uh mascara that is 100% chemical, try 100% all natural, organic uh, mascara, all right? Let me see if I can put it close if the, if the camera is... Mascara it. is really not a, a lengthening or a cosmetic product. It's a treatment product. So it's a treatment product. So you if get you treatment. If you want to regrow the lashes and thicken the brows, then yeah. right oh, right oh. And the last product in the line of hair products is the Jamaican black castor oil. Now, guys, I cannot sing the praises of this product enough. This is the one that flies off the shelf because once people order this product and they have received it, they know that it's a good product and they reorder almost immediately. All right. And they, we have sent order to New Zealand. We have sent orders to England. How far we have we sent orders to Australia have purchased from us? I, I kid you not. Now, for all those in the U.S., it is free shipping on this when you order through our Etsy website. If you are outside of the U.S., you have to, um, you know, deal with the shipping and incorporate that into your costing. But the Jamaican black castor oil is farm to shelf. And I just posted on my Instagram yesterday a little snippet of the actual farm from which the oil... Can you allow me to do okay. this, um, this thing? Because I'm very proficient. <laughs> Sorry. in doing the demonstration Sorry. 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 thank you Sorry. Right. <laughs> and she just posted yesterday on her instagram <laughs> wow. so guys if you follow the instagram at one true natural you will also see um clips of the farm and um it's so awesome that our friend the farmer he sent us post of him being in the farm and and the processes by which he, he extract the oil from the nut and all of that and so we're going to be posting that on one true natural on instagram um periodically so you can follow us and see that this product is no joke it'll come from straight where it come from mm -hmm. <laughs> um official jamia so what happened to my eye 
Oh, you mean the bags and the eye official Jamia that you're talking about? Me, I'll stay up late at night time I watch series on Netflix. Where could me for official Jamia? Just avoid the title. But hold on. <laughs> so the product is very nice. You can just follow. <laughs> yeah, so, so where could me? All right, so this is our Jamaican black castor oil. 100% um, castor oil. No additive, no exian, no salt, no nothing. Me, yeah, yeah, but the exian though. Mm -hmm. I did say exian. You know, some here something else about the hexian thing being added to something. I was watching a, a program and I heard about the exian argument. Mm -hmm. So, one of the items look puffy on top. That one here, me no know. It's a, it's just, it's called puffy eye syndrome. <laughs> My eye, all right, as far as I know. Yeah, Where to, yeah. That's one of the things that attracted her to me, my <laughs> fat eyes. <laughs> but for real though, all right? And um, then we also have gone ahead and we have through our linkage formulated soaps. And so these are, are awesome, awesome soaps. Uh, trying to get the, the, the something to, to connect, to um, focus. These are handmade soaps. And they have different um, different flavor ingredients, different, what you call them? Yeah? Um, this one is lemongrass. And trust me guys, from the scent to the, to the, the functions, them all are good. This one is activated charcoal and turmeric. Yeah? You notice me said not turmeric, me said turmeric. All right, because it's the right word, turmeric. And this one is eucalyptus and mint. And with the final one is our turmeric and sea moss, our turmeric and sea moss. All right. So we have four different formulations of soaps. And guys, all of them are available for you to procure by going to our website at etsy.com and ordering these things. No, on, none on top of your eye. No, on top of your eye. That one, yeah, that one, um, um, Diamond Cougar. I don't know, I'm look at something in there. Me eye fat, it's just fat, see that? Like an extra piece of fat skin. There's no lump underneath it, so. And it, it's still cute though. I'm cute, eh? <laughs> I'm just so cute and hot, eh? Cute with the fat eye, 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 oh, cute with the all right, guys. So there is the there is the products right here, and yeah, please just you know go on Etsy and support the products, and you will be so happy that you did so. From the other day, guys, I have been feeling very good about myself, and I've been loving my the, the the general transformation that's happening in my life, and it's because of these two products here. All right, so my Green Valley, Jesus, uh, my girl, look, at in the background there, though. My Green Valley blood purifier is awesome, awesome, and it does work in purifying your blood. And the ingredients are very, 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 very natural. All natural ingredients. It is used for acid reflux, mucus on the chest, cholesterol, diabetes, heartburn, asthma, and hot flashes, erectile dysfunction. <laughs> and blockage rebuilds ligaments and cartilage you hear me just say a while ago guys guys let me just put this close so i can read it for myself ed it helps to reduce ed especially in you men out there in your 30 odds and 40 odds who know no struggling in life oh, I'm about 50, odds. 50 odd really and truly are, are those company and them a look <laughs> i'm gonna get in so much trouble right now so if you're if i've been using this guys and trust me this does work and this also is also important my one day detox and green valley has partnered with me so i am a supplier a distributor in my local neighborhood and also on my through my youtube channel and i invite you to check out the one day detox the information is available um, in the in the chat room, it's the number to text me is 305-204-1270. That's 
1270. These products are all natural and these products are from a Jamaican manufacturer and they have a farm as well in Fort Lauderdale in the US and they can make this they make this product and they are distributing it. This product now the ingredients are very 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 simple and no chemicals. Water, moringa, dandelion, king of the forest, soursop leaf, guinea hen, jack in the bush. Um, and that's the that that you see in the in the in the per parentheses the bracket is the scientific name. Inflammation weed, leaf of life, aloe vera, tuna, prickly pear, garlic, vervain or, or, or blue vervain, star of anise and cinnamon. And this product is super duper good, guys. It works. All right. This is what it works for. Energy booster, poor diet, body odor, constipation, pain in your chest and stomach, help to cleanse your lungs, kidney, liver, and it also helps to burn belly fat. Guys, I take this bottle once per month. I take the entire bottle and I have been doing very, very well. Me love Wagwan, me love the progress. And even when I don't get to exercise as much, the progress that I'm seeing overall in my body and in my elimination process, I am happy and even more so encouraged. So guys, this is very, very good for you. Please DM me or text the number that you see in the, in the chat box there. Oh, you can get this product and I ship it out to you. All right, please. You, you, the number is 305-204-1270. 305-204-1270 or DM me on Instagram. Send me a direct message on Facebook. Find me. We link up, you get it. If you're in the Port St. Lucie area, you can also get a special discount and you can also ask for delivery and all of that. Free shipping in the US, wherever you are in the US is free shipping. So please, we can't only help on to help on yourself. Try to get it. Barbara Richards, good morning to you. All right, guys. So without further ado, we are going into the sharing process of this breakfast this morning and i i am so encouraged by this food this morning the food let me try to find a plate here i'm going to the dishwashing so i find a good plate we need some different color plate babes i'm gonna buy some light blue plate and some light green plate and then something there i don't want the red plate don't want the red plate. The plate, red plate too dark. It's not good for the camera system. All right, so I have to use the light blue plate. All right, guys. So I am going to share the food. I am going to share the food. I am going to share the food. Cause I want to eat up the dumpling and the something. Look on wet up the plate. Can't bother now. <laughs> and you all laugh after your husband. He's supposed to say, Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm really it's sorry for wow, that you are clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm, so sorry. I'm coming here. May I come? Yeah. The whole lady ground water for a while ago. I wonder if anybody can cash up me a money to buy one good pipe. You have to have a price to tell the people. Sixty dollars. I don't want the sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah. You didn't put on pipe. You didn't put on pipe. <laughs> <laughs> What's your brady? <laughs> I want the ninety nine dollar pipe. Oh, you want ninety nine dollar pipe? No, <laughs> Lord. Mm -hmm. Help our Jesus. So oh, if you're not busy, pass right by a Jesus. <laughs> eh? Imagine, a manager. You want ninety nine dollar? When you get the sixty dollar pipe, you put the forty dollar on it. But see ya. Good morning, Donna Lee Duncan. Donna Good Lee. morning to Donna Lee. Donna Lee. Donna Lee. Good morning to you, Donna Lee. Let me turn my camera around so I can show you my broccoli. Good morning to you, Donna, Donna Lee. Donna Lee, say your chest eye. It's very high, no? Oh, God. <laughs> have mercy with dumplings. <laughs> All 
Nice. Uh, very high chested, Dana. See, should I put this in a separate container and then put the dumpling around it like what we normally do? Because I don't think yeah, I... Yeah, because you know how the dumpling them get soaky, soaky. We don't want the dumpling to be soggy, soggy Just dumpling. in time for the coffee coming like a rapture. Hey! Everybody get captured. Whoa! They lift up like a little captive. Hey! When you see the lyrical. Coffee acting at the temperature. It's fancy. You know, it's fancy. It's fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> coffee! First time we see you in a year. In a long time, Kathy. Just in time for the food. Good morning to you too. My chest is very high. <laughs> the Bible says, Be thou I chested. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> what else it said? Be thou I chested over to <laughs> <laughs> It said, Seek and you will find. I am knocking on the $99 pipe door. <laughs> Pass it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guys, remember to check out my, my um, radio talk show this afternoon at 5 p.m. on the Caribbean radio. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the information in the chat. Barbara Richards. You missed Barbara Richards. Good mm -hmm. morning. I did say good morning. Oh, you did. Oh, morning, Barbara. This is where I get to be myself and to share, um, you know, good conversation. good conversation, good music, and a comedic twist. And we talk about health, we talk, we talk about marriage, we talk about everything, you know. So please, guys, check it out, right? And the program is called Vitamin B. And if you're in... Florida, anywhere from um, Key from West to, to, Jupiter. to Jupiter, you can listen either on your I'm HD radio it. or in your car. If your car is newer than a 2012, you should be able to get the HD stations on 94.9 HD 2. Um, or if you're in New York, it's 90 for where they may put for Florida. Mm -hmm. And in New York, it's 93.5. 93.5? Right. H D 3 for New York. So guys, we are it, it's super duper good. Yeah, um, website, yeah. All right, so please jot down this information that I just shared, the radio um, call tag and everything, so that you can continue to stay tuned and listen to Yada Belly TV on the radio. That is so good because we get opportunities to open up and to share with the people, you know, what's on our hearts. So this is my sawfish and broccoli, guys. How we look? How we look? We look like something I keep, something I happen. Mm -hmm. Look good. Yeah, I'm just have to pull up the plate, make it the presentation aspect of it look good and thing and thing. See, we can put a nice piece of sawfish on the top. How that look, babes? How it look, guys? Looking very good. Tell me if you don't like it. Tell me if you don't like it. I'm going to put some, 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 um, Put some pieces of cucumber in there. Why? Right. You don't want no cucumber in there? No, baby. I'm not more confusing right here. So. Okay. Put one pepper. No, baby. Okay. Guys, she don't want to put nothing more on it. She don't need nothing more. There's orange, there's green, and there's brown. Period. Mm. Quiet black. Period poo. <laughs> <laughs> And 
there we have this morning's presentation, guys. This is saltfish with broccoli and our seaweed fried dumpling. And guys, I hope that you love this and I hope that you will be willing to try this in your neck of the woods. And I do hope that you share and tag and everything so that people know that Yard of Belly TV is doing something crazy and unique and with a difference and with a twist. And yeah. I have a question that's very important. Guys, if you're hearing me, are do you guys eat Brussels sprouts? Please, it's important that we get an answer to the question. If you do eat Brussels sprouts, just put yes. Even if you're watching the video delayed, we want to know if you are a Brussels sprouts eater. And we're asking for a specific reason. Do you eat Brussels sprouts? Me eat it. You might eat all the dumpling them. Official Jamie, I eat Brussels sprouts. Me eat Brussels sprouts. I come from Brussels. You know? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Barbara eat Brussels sprouts. Okay. No, man, I don't think that tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Who else eat Brussels sprouts? Mm hmm. No, sir. Guys, you see, we don't bring a tech life. It's a shell down the whole of our head. I love it. 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 Donna Lee says she eat Brussels sprout. I will stop people eat Brussels sprout in here. Guys, the seaweed dumpling, does it start now? The seaweed dumpling, it has take a life. And see the broccoli. The fuck you act, man? I eat it up in the aisle? No. Where you put it, babe? I need it for it. It burn up my lip. My lip are hurt now. <laughs> I mean, let me call Mr. Atlet. Don't worry, keep it. Mm -mm. Guys, the food. Mm. Oh, the broccoli and something tastes good. The broccoli and something. Yeah, so. Oh my lord. It tastes really good, guys. I have. Mom and trust me. Mmm. Hold on, I'm not Mmm. Mmm. Try good morning, try good morning. Mmm. Try? Try, let's talk about the recipe for this morning. <laughs> the picture of Jamie said, I'm to do the food down. This morning's recipe is. Broccoli with saltfish. <laughs> Elton said Brussels sprouts make him sick. Mm. Broccoli with saltfish. And it's served up with some seaweed dumpling. Seaweed fried dumpling. I tell you, I tell you this morning. No man, I forgot to carry some for waiting in there. I forgot to carry some for who? Who I got carry some for? Somebody's gonna get a special um, dish this morning. Hallelujah, glory. Guys, once again, we thank you for joining us. We appreciate you, each and every one. Babes, you have to come try it some on the camera, man. Just, just try a little bit. Just try a little bit, babe. $18 plate. Guys, she don't want to try it. Coffee says she loves broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah, broccoli. What about Brussels sprouts? Coffee, do you like Brussels sprouts? Let us know. But guys, that's our, that's our offering for today. We do hope that you will like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that Yardabella TV is doing it. We have been doing it now since 2014 and we're still doing it. Please share our um, um, seed. Try, me don't buy no seed. Try so we'll buy seed oh. weed. <laughs> seed weed? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying it with the dumpling. 
tell me all that yes. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Nah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 And hopefully it will take off. Just tell a friend that Yard Belly TV is on. We appreciate you. Remember to check out the products. Click the shop now page also. If you want to get a nice Jamaican t-shirt that is authentic and unique. Remember, um, independence coming up. So you can click on the shop now page and, per and peruse through our t-shirt line. Of, of you know our line of t-shirts you might find a nice one mark jamaica jam rock um jam down you might find different um you know t-shirts so click on the shop now page if you want to support yard belly tv also and of course all the products that yard belly tv one true natural everybody's doing work with me guys once again let me show now give a last look on this before we close out this live Remember to join me later on at 5 on the Caribbean Radio or BroGaryRadioShow.com and we will definitely, definitely, you know, continue the conversation. All right. Once again, guys, big up on yourself and remember me tell you the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon each and every one of you and give you his peace. Seaweed is found in Whole Foods. You may also find seaweed in Aldi supermarket. You may find seaweed in Trader Joe's supermarket. Seaweed is, is um, pretty, pretty um, common and it's available. We bought the we, snack version. We bought the snack version, which is the, the one that is dried. And we just break it up in it. And of, of course, it's vegan. So that makes our dumpling vegan. All right, so guys, remember me tell you, no? love you, no? thank you so much for joining us today. Big up on the status and all these things. Love and happiness. Later on is greater. Later is greater. And we're going to take the thing to a different level. Mm. Of course, yeah, um, try. We, we do seaweed fried rice before. It's, um, it, we, we, we put it in our kimchi Mira fried rice. Neil, Myra, Myra, good morning to you. Blessings to you. Thank you for joining us. And them Saturday. Peace and love. Pick up on yourself.